Hi, this is Harvey with Harvey Property Management Group. Today we're going to discuss understanding property management fees. I think it's important for you to understand how property management fee structures go. A property management company operates under three different departments. First is the administrative department which handles day-to-day -day functions such as paying of the bills, processing of the leases, scheduling of inspections, scheduling of repairs, collecting the rents, preparing the monthly financial statements for the owner. Then there is the leasing department. The leasing department is responsible for creating the marketing, going out on the leasing appointments to help determine if the tenant is proper for your property, and also to help show them the benefits and features of the property to help the tenant make the decision to move in. The leasing department is also responsible for the ongoing process of making sure that the tenant is happy and will renew their lease at the end of the tenancy. The third department is the maintenance department. The maintenance department handles the daily service request as well as turnovers or make readies so that when a tenant moves out the property can quickly be brought into marketable condition as well as any capital improvements or replacements such as roof replacements, water heater replacements, windows, siding, concrete, etc. While there are some individuals who would be very accomplished at handling every single duty within a property management company, most of us excel in one area or the other. So for instance, you want your bookkeeper to be very analytical and very focused. That person is probably not the right person to use creativity and sales ability in order to sell the tenant on renting your unit. On the other hand, the creativity and marketing and sales ability that a leasing person has is probably not going to provide the proper technical skills to review an estimate to determine if it's the right contractor for your project. Now I'm going to talk about some of the fees that you may or may not see. Some property managers will include some of them. Some will include as many as they possibly can. So it's important to know that when you call your property manager and say, what's your management fee, that you don't just stop there. So the first fee, of course, is the monthly management fee. That fee is typically a percentage of the rent or a flat fee. Now, percentage of the rent can mean lots of different things. Is that rent collected or is that rent billed? Is there a minimum charge that even if the property is vacant, you would still pay a fee? Or, as one client told me, she wanted to go with a company that offered a 6% management fee but their minimum was so high that for her property, it turned out to be 12%. Other fees that you may find are initial setup fees, both for owners and tenants. You may find technology fees, marketing fees, new tenant placement or lease up fees, inspection fees, contractor quality control fees, bill paid fees, unpaid invoice fees, notice fees, eviction fees, lease renewal fees, and as you can see, the fees can go on and on and on. In addition to that, some property managers have tenant fees, application fees. They may charge a tenant to renew the lease. There may be fees for if a tenant loses their lease and needs another copy, lockout fees, pet fees, housekeeping inspection fees, Again, it's very important to understand exactly what the fee structure is that your property manager is using so that you'll know what your real payments are going to be. 
sometimes a 6% fee can cost you more than the 12% fee. If you would like to see a list of our fees, please go to our website and look at the service tab for the link to our fee structure. Thank you.